Canelo tested positive twice for steroids. That wasn't a lie. It was it, it wasn't a lie where he said that De La Hoya and Golden Boy brought him all the way up to there to get that Golovkin fight. That wasn't a lie either. So he was holding that in for a long time. And I'm just happy for him just being there as his friend because he didn't get to get that off his chest. Many fans are believing that Canelo don't get the chance to be thrown. Do you think that's the reason why they're not excited? What did you say? I said uh, fans believe that Canelo doesn't have a chance in this fight to be thrown. Oh, um, I definitely. I think he has a good chance, but I think it's just, it's just too much respect. You know what I mean? Like, that's what Canelo wants. He wants respect. You have your head down, you fucking kiss his hand, this and that. Yeah, that's boring. I want to see that shit. I want to see somebody in there who's actually like, uh, confident in this He's the biggest fight of his life. You know, I want to see him. I want to see some, you know, to let him know that he's there to win this title, not for there. He just looks like he's there for a paycheck, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, question about the August uh, third card, the stack card. I don't know if they asked you that already, but what's your thoughts on that? And, and the movement you know, on Saudi Arabia now taking a place here in California. It's, uh, it's going to be a great card, bro. I feel like um, they're, they did a good uh, thing about coming over here to California. It's a fucking tremendous card. I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, I'm going to be there, but uh, I'm not sure yet. But it's, it's a great card overall. Uh, it's a great uh, it's great for the sport. It's a lot of good fights, but my favorite one is um, that one's gonna be good. that's gonna be a fucking fire fight. Uh, Crawford, they're all good, bro. Fucking now you got what's his name fighting uh, Virgil Ortiz fighting Tim Sue. They're all bangers. All all those fights are bangers. It'll be a good night of fights. What makes him be such a heavy underdog? Um. I don't know, bro. I mean, I don't know. I think everybody that fights Canelo, they're just, they're big underdogs. It don't matter who it is, just because of all of Canelo's accolades. And that's something you can't take from him. That's something I'm not going to take from him either. But uh, probably just that, that uh, Canelo has been a dominant fighter. I think it's going to be a, a, a good uh, place for me to campaign at. Um, I've been trying to get to that that, uh, that weight class for a long time, so I'm just very happy to be there, and I feel more comfortable here. And I'm just um, now I'm in the second half of my career. You know, the first 10 years at 168, so maybe we'll do one, another five at 175 and another five at. That. I'm very excited for this half of my career. Hey David, what is one thing people don't know about you? Um. I don't know. I've kind of really put everything out there already. Uh, just to be honest with you, I'm just happy with the way everything is going. I'm happy for the support for all the fans, and I'm just happy to still be here. You know, people say everything they want about me, but I'm still here working hard. I'm still one of the biggest stars at PBC, so I'm just happy to be doing my job. David, this fight could go down as one of the all-time great Mexican showdowns. Do you have a personal favorite Mexican showdown? All the fights that happened already? Yeah. Probably, in my opinion, um, I like Barrera Morales 3. The third one was my favorite. Um, and then, oh fuck, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez and Oscar De La Hoya. Those were tremendous ones. David, uh, don't laugh real quick because I know when we're going from this topic of the elite fighters and then we talk about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, and I know my, Mike Tyson's a big fan of yours. What do you think of that fight on July 20th? I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not going to laugh because I feel like Jake Paul, you know, he's done it. He's done what he has to do to solidify himself in the sport. You know, he's really big now. He's working hard. So once you see a man really dedicate his life to boxing like that, you can't really laugh at that. You know, he's done what he's done. Um, it's going to be a big fight for him. Very tremendous fight. It's gonna be a great fight. Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson. So Jake Paul has to get ready. He has to be ready 100%. It's gonna be a great fight. I think this is a perfect opponent for me because it's a uh, it's a great fighter. You know what I mean? I don't want to fight any easy fighters no more. I feel like the best comes out of me when I get a tough fighter in front of me. So I'm just very excited to showcase my skills. Because the uh, last person I fought in this camp was Ronald Ruggles. I mean, not Ronald Ruggles, Ronald Ellis. So, I mean, uh, 
I don't know what they're trying to do. I mean, but I feel like I'm gonna keep beating everybody up in their camp until I get, until I get to the main guy. But for one thing I want to ask you, so you guys are asking me about Ryan Garcia and all that. Was that real? It's 100% positive that he did that? Yeah. But it's just an A sample. Yeah. You know, you do about an A sample scale. Yeah. So, so that's why I really don't want to talk about it because until all the information, I don't want to bash somebody if the information's not right. But if, the, if that's really what he did, I mean, uh, I feel like, you know, it's bad for the sport. You know what I mean? I think Devin Haney worked his ass off. He did what he had to do. And he did it the hard way. So, I mean, if, if Ryan did really do the steroids, it's really unfortunate. You know, he had a great performance, but now that's all going to be taken away if those results for steroids are really true. What do you think about the rematch with uh, Ryan and Tank? Since Ryan got positive tests and people say, oh, he was dehydrated, see how he looked against David. Do you think anything this guy's right here? Changed? I, I feel like if yeah. they fought at one, but this is the thing too, like they're fighting, Ryan wants to fight at weight classes that are not, you <laughs> know, they're all catch weights, you know what I mean? So I feel like if you respect, I don't want to say you don't respect boxing, but you got to fight by the weight class. You know what I mean? Um, well, I don't know. It'll still be a good fight. If they make it at 144, it'll be a great fight. Uh, Tank is a great fighter. Ryan is a great fighter at that weight. So great fight. Hey, David, I just have two quick questions. I'm sure you've been asked this, but what was your thoughts on the press conference? I know you were very calm. Gosh, it was very calm. Tank and Frank was going on. The shit was lit. <laughs> shit was lit. Fucking, that's why I like uh, Tank. He's a, he's, a, he's an aggressive dude, he's a mean dude, you know, but he makes, at the end of the day, when you look back at these press conferences, what you want. But Frank Martin, you know, he's a great fighter as well, you know, he stood his ground. So it's going to be a great fight, man. I'm very excited to see this. I'm happy that I can fight, go back to my locker room, and then go change and go watch the fight. That's what I'm really happy about. I tried asking Canelo, but, you know, it's a scrum, so it's hard, but I, want, uh, I didn't get to ask him, but I wanted to get your thoughts on, uh, when you made those comments, Canelo buy some nuts, when he talked about the 150, 200. Just, is that just a sense of, like, that's maybe too much money he's asking, or is he just kind of pricing and stuff like And hopefully he has enough money left over to buy some nuts. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Bro, like, it's like, it's, you look at it like this, like, the promoters, when they make these types of fights, they have to have some money on the side to eat, too. So if that fight, if we get $200 million, it'd be everything go for him, no promoter gets paid, nobody that works on the fucking venue gets paid. It's like, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. But if, I guess, he calls the shot, so if we can get that, the more power to him. Other than a potential Canola fight, what are some goals on your boxing bucket list that you want to achieve before you um, I want to be unified champion 175 and uh, unified champion in cruiserweight. And maybe if I could get up to heavyweight, that would be that would be dope. Two more questions. Yeah, they they asked me that, but at 160, and I'm like, bro, I, haven't, I don't remember the last time I weighed 160. So, so it was cool that they offered me that. Uh, not offered, it was just spoken. It wasn't really offered. It was just spoken, but. Um, well, it's not possible, you know what I mean? But I, well, I mean, if, I would love to share the ring with Terrence Crawford, but I don't think it's possible. What were your thoughts on the UC playing Edgar go at it the other day? Or? It's cool. I mean, to be honest with you, if I heard that kid, um, Edgar Berlanga is going to get the fight in September, I feel like if he's going to get really going to get the fight, that they got to give him Caleb Plant first, and then the winner of that gets Caleb. You think okay. Edgar can get past All right, Caleb? No, last question here. Last question. David, you and I have spoken before about like how I see you as boxing's BMF, but with Javante, it's like the two of you guys, I don't know, I see you as close to Nate Diaz or from Asvidal. Is there anything you see or identify in Javante that how fans resonate for both of you? I feel like we both got the same style in the fight. We're both dogs. We're both ready to go for the kill. You know what I mean? And that's what people love to see. People love to see that type of stuff in the ring, and now you get to see it two times in one night. Is there anything outside the ring that you think you and you and Javante have you spoken to each other? Yeah, I spoke to Javante. He's a cool, good, uh, cool, uh, cool dude. Um, no, I have two of them. Him and his team are all cool. You know, I'm very, very happy to fight for the club. Hey, hey, ¿Qué mensaje le mandas a, a los mexicanos en el 5 de mayo? Pues le quiero decir a todos los mexicanos, muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Es un orgullo de tener sangre de México. Muchas gracias.